Newton's first law says that an object in uniform motion, meaning motion in a straight line at constant speed, will continue in uniform motion unless forces are, act, are, are exerted upon the object. I'm going to use my little lab assistant here, Joe, and send him on a ride in the country to experience one of the consequences of Newton's first law of motion. So I'll put him there. The air track will kind of remove the air friction by letting the glider ride on a little cushion of air. And so let's send Joe on a trip in the country. Goodbye, Joe. Whoa, woo. Oh, Joe, are you hurt, you rascal? Oh, oh, Joe's bleeding. Oh. Now, when the car got down to the end of the track, it encountered the bumper right here. That bumper exerts a force on the car. The car would remain in uniform motion forever unless there was some force exerted on it. In this particular case, the bumper exerts a force on the car when it touches the car. But the bumper doesn't touch Joe. Joe, on the other hand, continues in uniform motion because the force is not exerted on Joe. Consequently, he keeps going forward. Of course, when he leaves the track, the force of gravity now comes back into play and causes him to fall down as well as go forward. But Joe's experiencing a consequence of the first law Newton's first law of motion, that an object in uniform motion wants to continue in uniform motion unless forces are exerted on that object to change from that uniform motion.